Can I talk about it? Yeah. What, what do you want me to say? I don't know. What do you think of Father and Pratt? Pratt, he's the best. <laughs> Sunday, Santa Anita, Pratt wins three. Zero tolerance didn't have the best of beginnings. Zero tolerance is wider out, and Bergu Alley comes through at the rail. They're in the final furlong, and it's Carpe Fortuna taking a narrow lead, challenged immediately by Zero Tolerance. Zero Tolerance to the front in the late stages, and Zero Tolerance wins the unzip me by about a length and a half. You know, she broke bad, but Flavian, you know, he didn't panic. They're at the top of the stretch, and Lane Way is coming with a huge run, big strides, takes over and opens up. From the back of the field, Elusive Treat moves into second, but it's all Lane Way. Lane Way dominates, striding out effortlessly, wins by three and a half lengths. The crowd effect is he, he's a dog. <laughs> They're off in the Zenyatta. Private Mission with natural speed. They're at the top of the stretch, and Private Mission has a three-length lead. Miss Bigley on the outside of his time goes by, coming to the 16th. Private Mission, two-and-a-half-length lead. As time goes by, is second best, it will be Private Mission, the easiest of winners in the Zenyatta. The horse just almost in our life, no matter what. They are just such beautiful creature. I think we just so, so involved love in this sport for sure. Friday, Santa Anita, Pratt wins four. And they're off. Simmer down moves into second as Starship Defiant is a week in third. It's either Zara or Simmer down, Simmer down with a big strong kick through the stretch. And Simmerdown will win it going away by about two. I know Pratt, but I don't know what it is. Well, then, if you know Pratt, you know what it is. Oh, that's good. And they're off. I know cash flow clinging to a narrow lead over Saul's call. I know cash flow gets the money. Luck. And they're off. Gidgetta is kicking in on the far outside. AG Indy three length lead. Gidgetta motoring up outside of Bruja Escarlata. AG Indy on the outside. Here's Gidgetta. Photo finish. Gidgetta was absolutely flying. He's the best rider around here, yeah. maybe in the country. He's one of the best in the country. Yeah. From Aqua Julia, from last to mow them all down. Saturday. Cowboy Pratt heads for Keeneland. When Flavian Pratt is on the lead, he wins at 40%. So he is very dangerous. Nine blowout told by Peter Brandt, trained by Chad Brown, Chucky Flavian Pratt. They are at the post. They're off in the first lady presented by UK Healthcare. Awkward beginning for Daddy is a legend who drops out immediately to last. There goes blowout for the lead and there's Regal Glory up close toward the inside and the opening strides as they head for the first turn. Abscon comes away third. La Signore is wide and fourth. And then Empress Josephine is fifth down toward the inside. The Lika is four wide and is moving up into sixth position. Hindi Woods seventh. Harvey's Little Goyle three wide in eighth position. And then Althika, who saved ground against the rail in ninth around the first turn. Star Command is tenth. Viadera eleventh. And Daddy is a legend twelfth at last. Blowout the leader. It was 23.76 seconds. The time for the opening quarter. Blowout leads it now by two lengths. La Senare goes second and a half length. Abscond is third, three quarters of a length. Regal Glory fourth and moving forward between horses now trying to change lanes toward the outside the Lika, center of the course in fifth empress josephine is in sixth position althika still tucked away at the rail seven lengths from the front 47.75 seconds the time for the opening half mile blowout la Signore, and then regal glory third on the far outside the top three separated by a length and a half abscond hugs the rail in fourth two lengths off the lead then empress josephine comes next followed by delica harvey's little goyle swings wide for the drive althika 
is still buried in traffic toward the inside, trying to find running room. Here's Regal Glory alongside Blowout. Abscond to the outside. Up for Josephine. Harvey's little Goyle. Alfika is six down toward the inside. Blowout and Regal Glory side by side, battling it out for the top spot in the closing strides of the First Lady. Blowout hanging tough with the lead by a neck. And Blowout has won it. She showed a lot of speed out of the gate, and then I was able to get myself uh, comfortable on the lead where I didn't have too much pressure, and she she relaxed well down the backside and uh, fought really hard, you know, down the lane because she, she lost the lead for a little bit and, and digs in, and uh, it was nice. How much did you have to push on her to, to keep her past uh, Regal Glory, that stable mate? No, as I said, by the 316 pull, I, I kind of lost the lead, and uh, but but she digs in and fought back, and uh, I really uh, did a great stretch run. We all take one look and I'm in love. <laughs> That's the Pratt effect. Yeah.